Looks so good on camera, dude. Yeah, it is the exact opposite of bitch fitment. So, uh, I'm gonna get Charles to hold the camera while I do a little... I'll, I'll drive it. Just a few feet. I'll show you guys the new problem we're having. Yeah. <laughs> Why it needs to be raised. Yes. Try turning your wheel. <laughs> uh, that's about all she gives you. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, Jesse fucked up a little bit and uh, well, no, okay. lowered it too much out of the box. These you all know that I got the first set of coils and I put them on and it was so high. It was like stock fitment. So I returned them and got these and uh, I got a little bit carried away, I guess, <laughs> wanting to be low. and Because uh, you guys know that annoying now. process when you put coils in and then it's too high and then you got to take everything off again and adjust the height. Jesse wanted it low right off the bat. Honestly, I think this looks sick as fuck. I wish he could keep it like this, but obviously, like, this is like baked. This is like aired out baked. Civic is looking fresh. Um, now we just need to go ahead and install the coilovers sometime this weekend. But uh, it's looking a lot better now. Four GTT with a Z2 in front end. Jordan, how's Good it going, man. man? Yeah, you just got it from from the tuner, hey? Oh yeah. Let's see this thing, man. Five minutes ago. Damn. Yeah. It's clean, mate. Okay, Looks like the same turbo that I ran last year. Just powered. Turbo manifold. Let's get the fuel set up. How much did it make again? The final pull as of this morning was 410. 410, nice. 410. And you got cams too? Yep. Yeah, Helper cams, 260s. really good yeah taking it really easy right now though all right so I'm gonna go for a rip with Jordan in his car uh, the setup in that thing is pretty similar to what I had last year except it's tuned so it's gonna be cool to see how my car could have drove last year although this one's a Neo but it's got pretty similar mods in the setup so let's go find out Alright, 
probably the best car ride I've been on in like the last 10 months. So thank you, Jordan. You bet, man. Appreciate I hate the ride. It's like motivating me right now. Extra, I'm gonna go do something on my car. <laughs> So I know a lot of people are getting antsy and excited and saying there's not much progress happening on the cars. As much as we want to get these cars out running as soon as possible, uh, you got to understand we are doing locals, this whole YouTube thing, our brand, full time. So we are here at the shop every day and these things take a lot of money and we've gotten them to this point just strictly based off manifestation and pursuing what makes you happy. The results that we've created so far are tremendous for like the amount of budget and leeway that we have so for me just the fact that I have got this car in the state that it's in now it's mind-blowing to me I mean it's been a long winter my winter started in July and it's been little things here and there work that I can do but building an engine especially an RB30 of that nature it's gonna take a lot of time and money so these aren't just projects that we can just get up and do on the go they will take time and uh, the weather's getting better, the cars are getting closer and closer to completion and soon enough we'll be out there. If I could have this car out today, believe me I would. So waiting for parts, funds, that kind of stuff, it all comes into effect. I know you guys are excited to see them running again but just be patient, it's coming and once they are back on the road, um, we're going to be there to stay. This is the last winter that I want to be building my car, spending money, throwing money into it. So. Yeah, I'm sure David and Jesse feel the same way when it comes to that stuff. Uh, these things do take time. Uh, we can't build them overnight, unfortunately. We're at that point of the install. <laughs> much. How much did you raise this one? in there. Let's just see what it is now. Yeah. You didn't need much in the rear. It's more the front. I was at four now. No, it was. Let's just let's just do this. Let's just do this. Maybe even less. <laughs> <laughs> so 3.75, how about that? Zero, what if you have a lot of tire now? That's so funny. He's right. <laughs> 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 it lowers it even more than what it was. <laughs> okay, what did it what did the measurement start off as? Three and a quarter. And what are we at? 3.75. Okay. No, should be good. Do you only raise it half an inch in the front? In the rear. Or the rear. Take sorry, the spacer yeah. off too, just to be sure. No, 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 no. Because no. it was pretty close to hitting the mm. Like, so high, the, like lip on. Them. Raise it the width Yo, of the spacer. Put, put my five mils on. <laughs> so yes. It's a bit further. Five mils. Do you have but, them? Yes, they're on the thing, but I, I need them back once I get my wheels. John, just just raise raise that. Like, how much is this? Ten mil. Ten mil. Raise that ten mil right now, and then it'll give you that extra bit of. We're way more than ten mil. Though. Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> this, it would. You're saying it would clear. <laughs> Charles, like, how? How big is the sun again? <laughs> Raise it that much. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, it's 420 today. <laughs> uh, I'll go back one. Go to four. Let's go to four. So I'm raising it three quarters of an inch. Uh, Dude, it was there. literally tucking rim. Yeah, yeah. That's, you still need a bit of tuck, man. He's right. <laughs> He's great. <laughs> Are we good? You missed it. You missed me pulling the bolt out. Oh. This is like so much last minute uh, show prep. It's not really a show, it's a meet, but everyone's just coming here. Like, the meet started at four, it's like almost five. Yeah, we're, we're here for the beer. <laughs> True, we're turning this lot into the meet. Oh, what? <laughs> Alex cleaning the K20 SWAT Civic. Civic guy wearing a Skyline sweater. Jumping, 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 KD or the Sunday. I just pulled off with the table, had the stink was bumping. This is the 
squad right now. We're rolling out to the meet. Damn, there's so many cars to get rollers of. Summer now. Jesse goes the wrong way. <laughs> oh, now we're split. Okay, we gotta go this way. Alright, so as you guys saw, Jesse went the wrong way, of course. So half of the squad followed Jesse, and half of us went the right way. So uh, we're pulled over to the side here, just uh, waiting for the rest of them to catch up. <laughs> oh, there they go. And then to drive? D. Just hybrid things, yo. This looks like the shift knob right now, though. <laughs> no, no, these guys U turned and they're coming the other way. Oh my god. That was the worst season opener, meat entrance ever. Boys, we gotta get it together, man. We can't be rolling into meats like this. It's so unorganized. This is the classic meat spot. Drive around the lot first. Do you want to? Yeah, let's get uh, Prius reactions. Oh shit, it's hey, David DeBoza. Yo, <laughs> what's up, David? Good to go. Nah, I brought the wrong car. <laughs> I brought the wrong fucking car. Did you probably break more necks with this than the Mustang. But when we're idling at this speed, we're driving for free. Yeah, true. Hey, there's Blake's legacy. Man, there's a lot of sick cars here. Sorry, goals. Clean chaser. Oh shit, here's Brady. I'm gonna go park with them now. <laughs> that was hilarious how just 420 things. Yeah, that was so funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, like, this is the worst like, meat entry. We like stop, see them drive by, so we go. <laughs> and then we see you guys coming back the other way. <laughs> Finally, he's 
guys show up. How's that? And this guy just bought all of them. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem, man. I got you. I rolled the fenders on that Supra. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Presidio is like the perfect winter beater to his car. Yeah. Actually. This is like a Tommy Kyra R34. It's like super limited edition. Yeah. It's got like a sick dash. It's digital. Yeah. The thing I love about this car is the digital dash. A bunch of like special touches too. Yeah, it's all OEM like Tommy Kyra. Pretty dope. He had a progress banner. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Right. On the front. Alright. Yeah. Fucking Devin is the biggest culprit for getting food without telling anyone. <laughs> Every time, man. Where'd you get that? Co op? <laughs> we were just heading there, man. And then we just decided not to yeah. for 20 <laughs> things. <laughs> We were literally at the door of co-op and David's like, wait, what? No, dude, you suggested to go to co-op. <laughs> yeah, I suggested yeah, to go so to co-op. Yeah, so that's why we're walking through. Yeah. And then Devin's and already been to co-op. Yeah, he went to co-op. Look what he came out of. Old guy showing up to the meat like... Uh, burnout in honor of 420. Oh, tires, not drugs? Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, peace bread. <laughs> 